My grandmother told me the world would end in a year. So I spent the whole year praying and reading the Bible and alienating all my friends and relatives. And finally, the big day came. And absolutely nothing happened. Just if you look day. back in your in your Bible, there was this this incident where Abraham goes and and goes to sacrifice his son Isaac to God. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is the end. And uh, there's a lot of um, I think there's a lot of interesting moral lessons there. <laughs> right. The moral lesson from the Bible is if God tells you to do something and it involves killing your kid, listen to God. You know, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that you love your kid or love him humanity or, or that it's wrong to kill someone. Go, go and obey God. That's, that's the moral lesson there, right? But Abraham went to do this, and at the last minute, God spared the t child, right? But Abraham was, was praised for his willingness to do this, and, and I don't think that he is being praised at all for his, willing, for his ability to deceive God, right? So morally, in my mind, this is exactly the same as if he did kill his child. Right. So, in return... Well, what it tells us is that, from Abraham's point of, point of view, killing your child is something that God would ask and that should be obeyed. This gets re-spun so often with, well, God showed up at the end and saved him. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I've heard the story, too. Um, so what? It's, it's not very not very important part it, of the story. It does, I mean, you know, granted, it's all fiction, but... If God shows up at the end and saves the kid, that, has, that says nothing. The, the whole purpose was to test Abraham's quote-unquote faith, which I'd rather translate as blind obedience, because you've got a God here who says, hey, um, I want you to kill your son, and Abraham says, okay. <laughs> Sign me up. And drags him off and goes to... I like uh, a little bit. Uh, well, how, how does this work? How is this a a morally just or superior God or anything worthy of worship or reverence or anything? If some uh, voice told me or or something that that I perceived to be a higher power came and told me, "Hey, go kill your son, go screw yourself." Tell me why I should. What gives you the authority to do this? This is this is all about the uh, the mindset that. I brought you into this world, I can take you out. I mean, it's funny when Cosby says it, but if you say that this is some kind of just principle of any sort of intelligent higher being, you're wrong. You have brought into this, this unethical, immoral system. And how dare you accuse somebody else of being morally inferior because they point that out. Oh, well, God would never do that. He did, according to your beliefs. I mean, you believe he did this. Well, God never would have actually let Abraham kill it. Well, it doesn't matter. Abraham believed he did. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's a gang initiation thing is how well, I view it. Do you, do you really think Abraham said, well, God says he wants me to kill my son, but I know God would never do that, so I'll just play along. I'm sure he'll rescue him at the end. Come on! <laughs> I mean, I, I understand that there are apologists out there that like to soften all the, the offensive, stupid, immoral, unjust things in the Bible. Uh, oh, come on, don't treat the rest of us like we're stupid. Wake up. That's, the story is about, will you obey me no matter what? That's it. That's the story. And that's My what Abraham's rewarded. The world would end in a year. So I spent the whole year praying and reading the Bible and alienating all my friends and relatives. And finally, the big day came. And absolutely nothing happened.